Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Kai, and today we're gonna to be tying up the ICU Midge. Uh, ICU Midge is a pattern developed by Umpqua Tire Norman Mactema. Um, really good little nymph pattern. Uh, you can fish it all kind of different ways, uh, Euro rig, indicator rig, whatever. So today in the vise, we've got the TMCO 2499 SP. Uh, SP stands for Super Point. Um, it's actually one of my favorite hooks if you're looking for a good heavy nymph hook, especially a barbless one. This is the way to go. So, a uh, super good hook. Uh, they also do make one in black uh, as well as this that you see here. So, first thing first, we're going to start our thread here behind the bead. Um, I'm using UTC 70 today i want to keep it relatively flat here um, slender profile is kind of the key to this fly uh, for the ribbing we're just going to be coloring a little bit of this red thread black with sharpie actually a lot of different things you could do here you could tie in a strand of some etc 70 or 140 um, you could use like super hair whatever but uh Super simple to just color that with a Sharpie. Um, as you can see, it's uh, you know not maybe three quarters of an inch uh, down from where I ended on the bend of the hook there. Uh, if it's a little long, no worries. You can just make some extra thread wraps towards the end. And start our ribbing. fly bulk up a little thread here keep the bead in place um, so there we've got this nice thin body um, with the black rib we're gonna go ahead and finish this with some uv resin i'm using just a loon uv black today um, this is the thick one thin would probably be easier to work with um, but I do like the way thick ends up looking on the hook once you get it all spread out. So how uh, thick it is. Take your time kind of spreading that around. You don't want it bolted up anywhere, but you do want to make sure that covering all the thread real well. Um, this gives a really nice shimmer to the fly as well as obviously some durability. So make sure your UV resin is nice and spread throughout there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the torch. Cool, so you can see there in the video even, uh, it's got a nice little shimmer to the body. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, take some thread wraps right behind the bead. Um, we're basically building this up for the thorax and we put thread here to give it a little bit of traction for our next material we're tying on. Uh, next thing we're gonna put in is a little bit of Mirage tinsel. This is the medium opal. So right now uh, we're tying on what is called the cheeks of this fly. Um, it's meant to be tied in the round, meaning that from all different sides, the fly looks the exact same to the fish. Um, so rather than worrying about where your wing casing is or, you know, am I tying my wing casing on top, bottom, this and that, uh, this fly is meant to look the same. 360. So we've got our cheeks tied there about even. They don't have to be perfect. Our next thing we're gonna tie in is a little bit of dubbing for our thorax. Uh, today we're using the spiky squirrel dubbing from SLF. This is the natural fox. 
I think traditionally the pattern calls for hair's ear here, but I, I like this a lot. It's got some nice synthetic as well as natural materials to it. Um, so it's really easy to dub on. You can control the noodle pretty well, fat, thin, whatever. Um, and obviously has that same kind of natural coloring as hair's ear. So I really like it. We'll go ahead and snip it in the back there. I'll take one cheek right down the side of the fly, secure that in. Take the other one in the front and secure that in. Um, just make sure they're about even. Don't need to be exact. Go ahead, give a securing wrap just right around that side. Uh, then we're gonna come in and trim out the excess here on the cheeks. Give it a little whip finish and it's gonna leave a nice red thread collar up top. Pull that tight, trim it off, and there you got uh, the finished ICU image. Super good fly um, on any kind of rig, especially here through the winter. Um, fall and early spring.